W is one of the complex roots, complex cube roots of 1. Show that W squared plus W plus 1 equal to 0. Now drawn uh, an organ diagram of, and this is your real arm and this is your imaginary arm. So if uh, if you find, if, if it is given, you want to find the cube root of 1. Cube root of 1 has three solutions. So 1 is Z1 which is 1, or you can, that 1, you can write as 1, cis 0. Okay, and z2 would be the second root, which is, yeah, which is 1, cis 120. And, and z3 would be 1, cis 240. So these are the three cube roots of 1. The cube roots of, cube root of 1 is not only 1, it's 1, of course it's 1, which is 1 cis 0, z2, which is 1 cis at an angle of 120 degree. This is at an angle of 120 degree. And uh, the third angle is, so, sorry, the third root is z3, which is at an angle of 240 from 1. So these are the three roots, three uh, roots of cube root of 1. Now the key word that they have used is, W is one of the cube roots, complex cube roots of 1. So I'll talk about that later. So what they have given is, they have given that uh, cube root of, uh, or W is a cube root of 1. That's what is given. So let me write that uh, in a different color. What they have given is, uh, W is given to be one of the complex cube roots. Okay, that's the key word. But I'll write one is, W is uh, cube root of one. That is what is given in simple language. This is where we are starting. Okay. So now if you, if you want to remo remove this cube root, you have to cube both sides. So I'll say W cube is equal to cube root of, uh, I'll write this like this, cube root of, three, cube root of one, the whole cube. So cube, cube root and cube cancels each other out. So we are left with W cube is equal to one. Okay, this implies uh, taking away one from both sides. This is W cube minus one is equal to zero. Now we need to factorize this, which is a cubic equation. So I'm going to write this as w cubed plus 0w squared plus 0w minus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is a cubic equation, and I hope you know to figure out if x plus, you can use the remainder theorem. If you put, if you put 1 here, if suppose w is equal to 1, you can see that this will become 0. Okay, so if w is equal to 1, just like that, if you can, if w is equal to 1, this implies, uh, you can say uh, 1 cube, I'm putting 1 in place of w, 1 cube, uh, this will become 0, okay, let me write, plus 0 times 1 squared, plus 0 times 1 minus 1. So this is equal to 1 plus 0 plus 0 minus 1 minus minus 1 is equal to 0. So this means you can say that W minus 1 is a factor of this cubic equation. Or a faster way to find whether x minus 1 is a factor is to add the coefficient. The coefficient of this is 1, and the, this is the other coefficient, or this is a constant. So 1 take away 1 is 0. So w minus 1 is a factor. So I'm going to do the synthetic division. I hope you know the synthetic division. So for synthetic, for synthetic division, you just write the coefficients of the polynomials. So I'm going to write 1, 0, 0, negative 1. And as x minus 1 is a factor, I'm going to divide by 1. You start with 1, 
you start with zero here and you have to add them so one plus zero is one one times one is one zero plus one is one then you have to multiply like you have to basically multiply like this and add like this so zero plus one is one then one times one is one zero plus one is one one times one is one and zero so this will become so let me bring back my yellow color so this is this changes from this step i can say w minus one times these are the coefficient of the quotient so i can say this is w squared plus one w i'll not write one w plus one is equal to zero okay now this means okay i need to move this a little back i'm going to work on this it's the next question okay i need more space now so this means this is a quadratic equation so let me change color so can i say w minus one is equal to zero or w squared plus w plus one is equal to zero therefore you can say w is equal to one or w squared plus w plus one is equal to zero so let us come back to the question what does it say w is one of the complex cube roots when you say w is equal to one that is not a complex root that's a real root okay now you say but you have to come back to the question but w is a complex is a complex cube root of one cube root of one so when you're saying w is equal to one one is not a complex number it's a real number so we can say therefore or this implies w is not equal to one that means in other words what they're saying is w is e is not equal to one w is either this or this okay and that's what we want to prove and we have proved w squared plus w plus one is equal to zero so we have proved which therefore we can say this is the second result which is w squared plus w plus one is equal to zero okay now let us come do the next question which says this the first question leads to the second question so let me use a different color so we want to prove this is equal to negative one so you got one over w squared plus w to the power of four so what can we do by looking at this you should not panic okay do what you can what can you do in the denominator well we can factorize something which is w squared so which is one plus uh, w squared okay now i want you to look at result a i want you to look at this can you see from this can we write one plus w squared is equal to what make if you make one plus w squared the subject in place of one plus w squared what can we write that is minus w so in place of one plus w squared i can put minus w so this is equal to one over w squared times minus w which is one over minus w cube okay now okay this is very interesting what is the w cube where did we start w cube is equal to what w cube is equal to negative one okay so in place of w cube i can put negative one so this is equal to one over negative one which is nothing but negative one which is your right hand side this is your right hand side this is your left hand side so we started from the left hand side and we have got one which is negative one which is your right hand side okay the last question you want to given that given that the conjugate of w is equal to w squared so what is given the conjugate of w so you write a conjugate by putting a dash over it so conjugate of w is given to be w squared this is given okay you need, don't need to question this find the conjugate of one plus w in terms of w 
Okay, so uh, what can we do now? So now what is W squared? Can we find W squared somewhere in result one? Okay, so I want you to look at result one. If you make W squared the subject, W squared is equal to what? From this I can say W squared is minus one minus W. W squared is minus one minus W. So I'm going to put that in place of, uh, so therefore I can say, therefore, in place of W squared, I can put minus one minus W. This is from one or from A. Okay, now what can we do? Okay, so this is, therefore I can say, conjugate of W is, I'll take the minus out, minus, 1 plus W like this. Okay, so I can say now, if you put, I want to write this as 1 plus, so let me write, rewrite this again. So minus 1 plus W, the same thing I'm writing in the reverse order is equal to conjugate of W. Okay, so now I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1, multiplying multiplying, because I want 1 plus W, multiplying both sides by negative 1, by negative 1, because I want to make this 1 plus W, so I can say, well, this will become 1 plus W is minus conjugate of W. Okay, so now if you take, okay, so this, if I, now I'm going to take the I want to write the conjugate of 1 plus W. So if you take the conjugate of this side, you have to take the conjugate of this side. This implies 1 plus W, the conjugate of 1 plus W is minus conjugate of the conjugate. This is very interesting. You are taking conjugate of a conjugate. So you can write like this, conjugate of a conjugate. So if you take a conjugate of a conjugate, what do you get? So let me explain that. Okay, suppose, let us start with a number. Suppose Z is, say, 1 plus 3i. So what is conjugate of Z? So conjugate of Z is 1 minus 3i. So if you take conjugate, again, now if you want to take conjugate of a conjugate, so if you take, let me write like this. I don't know whether we can write like this. I think you can. Conjugate of conjugate. If you take the conjugate of this again, you will get back the original number. 1 plus 3i. So if you're taking conjugate of a conjugate, you will get the original number. You will get the w back. So this implies conjugate of 1 plus w is nothing but minus will remain minus w. So that's what we wanted to write. Write the conjugate of 1 plus w in terms of w, which is minus w.